have your wife. If you ever want to see her again, you'll you recite two minutes of writing help about mysteries? Right now? Damn it. How do I know she's safe? Hmm? Oh, man. Who would do this? Huh? Clock's ticking. Well, not yet. You have to start it. But you know what I mean. Know if your story is a mystery or if it has mystery. Many stories have elements of mystery to them, but should only be considered strict mysteries if the conflict and themes center around uncovering answers. Decide if your story should have mystery at all. It's a great way to build suspense, but it isn't always the best vehicle for certain story elements. Plan the answer to every question you present. The mystery here is for your readers, not for you. Never create an unsure situation for your characters if you aren't sure what the answers they seek are. That's a one-way ticket to plot whole city. Sprinkle clues. You'll need to learn how to bake some tasty breadcrumbs for characters to find. Make sure readers aren't completely in the dark right up until the big reveal. Don't leave unanswered questions for the sequel if they deal with the themes of your current book. Every mystery related to the themes of the book should be answered by the end. If it pertains to the overall theme of a series, it can stay hidden in the fog a little bit longer. Use the power of misdirection to your advantage. Your characters will find clues. Remember, breadcrumbs? Give them hunches, specifically wrong ones. Your readers will be thrown by your character's false deductions. Avoid the bombshell monologue. Does one character have all the answers? Eh, that's alright in some situations. But remember the breadcrumbs. Whatever you do, don't give this one character a seven-page monologue outlining the whole mystery beginning to end. Keep in mind that a big reveal can actually be a small detail. It's how crucial that detail is to understanding the mystery that matters. Consider your reveal to be a small key that unlocks a big box, not the box itself. If you're writing an actual mystery, make sure the readers will have a challenge figuring it out fully until the conclusion. You don't want to have readers bored because they know exactly how your story is going to end a couple chapters in advance. Having something be a mysterious is not the same as it being a mystery. In essence, most of the questions readers will have should be answered by the end. If they have no idea what happened in your plot by its conclusion, it's not a mystery, it's just confusing. If you're going to add an element of mystery to your story, make sure it packs an emotional punch. Any addition to your plot should be designed to elicit emotion. And done. Okay, got your two minutes of mystery writing tips for you. Weird request, but where's my wife? Look closer. At what? My god. That's just me with a mop on my head. A and the other guy. That's right. We're all huh? you. You couldn't think of what to do for a writing help video this week, so you drugged yourself, hoping that you would be able to pull it out of you. And now that I've gotten what I needed hey, using wait. the powers of misdirection. Wait! <laughs> oh. Oh, what a weird freaking dream. But I do think I know what I'm gonna do for a writing help video this week.